I got another one with my atheist comedian, homie Rufat. We're going to talk about sex. We're going to talk about purity culture. And we're going to talk about the no fap movement. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey yo, what's going on? My name is Ruslan, hip hop artist, creative entrepreneur. This channel exists to encourage, empower, and inspire you to live out God's stream. Gotta send a big shout out to our Patreon holding us down. I got one of my favorite people that's going to be on this with me. Before you guys, before we hop into this, just know content's gonna be explicit. I'm not gonna ask him to edit himself, and I just don't be, ask people to do that. So hide your kids, hide your wife if you're sensitive to uh, 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 profanity. Um, this may not be the episode for you, but we're going to talk to my buddy, my mellow, my man, Mr. Rufat Agaev. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? Yeah, we're talking about sex. Sex. So the first, sex. so the first time I, don't I even really talk about sex like that, for real. Like even on stage, I don't really get into sex like that. We went to a show tonight and there was a lot of sex. Stuff. A lot of sex, but uh, did I, I didn't talk. You did not. I didn't really talk about, I, if anything, I talked about getting married and growing old with somebody, right? You did. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing. It's like, I always want to go. Yeah, yeah, If I'm Christian, yeah. I got to go the other way. Yeah. If I, I'm. I didn't understand. It was like three comedians back to back, female comedians. No disrespect to the other ladies that were there. They were all hilarious. I thought they were all hilarious. But they all did like. The Cardi B stripper version of, no, of stand up comedy. I, I, don't, I, I don't mind I don't mind women talking about sex on stage. I, don't, I think for I don't a long mind. time it was just very one dimensional. For for a long time purity was pushed on women and women gotta act a certain way. So I think I think I think it's good when women are raunchy on stage, man. I like it. Joan Rivers. I disagree. All but that's all right. So look, let's talk about what we talked about the, the first time we had you on. You ended on this like <laughs> Christians don't over like don't over mysticize sex like as someone who you know I I've, wait, I, yeah I waited a long time you waited a long time and then when you had it you were just kind of like eh. yeah it was kind of like eh. yeah, it's your talk, talk, talk about that a little bit like like you came up in purity culture right came up and then you ended up you know I guess walking away from the faith and indulged and indulged. on the whatever you know you know what I'm saying weird yeah it's your first time's always gonna be weird no I'm not talking about I'm not talking about yeah. your first time God forbid uh, it's with I'm talking your about wife I'm talking Yuck. about a comedian hey, I've never had sex my <laughs> my wife Look, come here have sex with me I'm for the talking first about time. as a comedian in New York City uh-huh. uh huh you know y'all move different out here you know what I'm saying what, you think we're fucking we're not. <laughs> 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 talk about your talk about your views on sex. My views on sex, I, I guess, uh, just concerning like Christians and kind of how I came up. Um, man, like when you repress it, it seems like a bigger deal than what it needs to be, and yes. then you finally have it, and you're like, this isn't that big of a deal, and it wasn't good this first time, and then you realize. I mean, I had to go, and I still kind of go through it. Where I'm like, kind of like, you know kind of like reserved sexually and I still have like some old dogmatic views you know that that I kind of I still have so you got to learn it when you're with certain people or what are your wife um why do you say that why do you say it like <laughs> your that? wife no nah, I mean nah it's cool like, yeah if you got a wife or whatever but when when you're with if you're having sex with multiple partners one partner your wife you have to like you know, like learn each other and you have to be open. You have to say what you like, what you don't like. And that takes time, you know? And even as a player, somebody like, let's say a dude is like having, or a woman is having a bunch of one night stands. It's not really going to be the best sex you're going to have is like your one night stand sex. It's just more so experiences. But yeah, uh, the reason why I say it towards Christians though, is because like when you rep rep to me, I have a, a ethos that I live by repression creates weirdos. And that's a bar. <laughs> and that's why I feel like you got the Catholic Church. They tell these, you know, ministers that they can't have sex with anybody for the rest of their lives. And yeah, you we know saw, what we happens. Saw, we, yeah, we see the fruit yeah. of that. We see the fruit of that. Um, Will Chamberlain had an interesting quote. He said, um, he said, you know, as someone who's ma had sex with thousands of women, he said, I rather make love to one woman a thousand times than to have sex with a thousand women one time. That's a big floss. 
he still had to mention the fact that he had a thousand. That he had right? a thousand. Women. As somebody who had sex with a thousand. Women. I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. But that's I an interesting. That. Though, that's an interesting quote. That, like, like just even what yeah. you said there casually. If you're having one night stands, it's not going to be the best sex. No, nah, it's gonna be primal. Yeah, it's gonna be primal. But that's just like, you know, you gotta run the offense a couple of times. You know, you gotta get used to your, your teammates. It's, it's just it's it's chemistry. You, you believe that? You believe that you need to develop physical chemistry? Uh, what was it? Yeah, chemistry. Like you. Sometimes the chemistry is instant. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? The chemistry is instant, but you learn that if you keep on having sex with that person that the chemistry was instant with, uh-huh. it can go into otherworldly levels if you actually like work on it you know what i mean yeah as someone Which is so weird to me why somebody would someone would get married to somebody that they've never had sex with and i mean sometimes you just might not be physically compatible i disagree because i married somebody i didn't have sex with that's cool so, but, so uh, I've been married almost 11 years. And that's the real miracle right there. We're Hello. talking about miracles. Hello. Is that you were physically compatible with them. You never know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how much physical I don't know how comfortable I feel talking about this right now. I, 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 I don't know how much physical com- compa- compatibility is a thing. I definitely am not of the thought that like you need to go test drive the vehicle before you drive it off the like i think that's a silly that's a weird even toxic analogy yeah but but that's but that's what people say like well you need to move in together well you need to do that i didn't do any of that like i didn't do any yeah. of that and i got married and my, by no stretch of the imagination am i saying we got married and the sex was slamming like no my wife was a virgin you know what i'm saying yeah. i had had previous sexual partners but good for you 11 years <laughs> Of marriage, Thousands, right? Eleven years of no, definitely not nowhere near that. <laughs> Eleven years of marriage, and um, I have a great, I have a great sex life. You know what I'm saying? And we know each other, and we know what we like, what we don't like. You know what I'm saying? And it's consistently getting better. Yeah. No, no, no. That's and I mean that's just that's a human thing. You know what I mean? It's not a Christian or an atheist thing. It's a human thing. And yeah, sometimes. Your compatibility is just like two people that you enjoy, you know, like you're in a relationship with somebody you enjoy having, spending time with them, and the sex might not be that great, and you need to work on it. You mm-hmm. need to, you know, not everything is going to be a hundo. Like, there's, I forget what movie it was, Chris Rock said it, but like, sometimes people trade in someone they're 80 85% compatible with. Mm-hmm. To for like, the other 15 for the other 15 I mean, yeah, yeah we could be 50 yeah. it doesn't always have to you know their their yeah, yeah, yeah. their their pie chart doesn't need to be somebody else's pie chart no that's a good point um <clears throat> that's a good point i think we it sounds like we agree on a good amount of stuff there let's talk about purity culture and how that breeds weirdos yes that but happens. how how that negatively affected both of us as, oh, yeah. as young men who I suffered a deal, a good amount of oh, sexual trauma. I had trauma. a large sex drive when I was young. Well, I'm not talking about sex drive. Christian. I mean, I had a sex drive. I'm talking about I'd like I go to I church, had, then I'd watch I, porn, then I'd go to church. Yeah. yeah, I'm talking about just as someone who had sexual trauma in my childhood, mm-hmm. and then was exposed to pornography very young. Same. Um, it, I think a lot of the stuff in church purity culture did, in hindsight, might have done more harm than good for me. Yeah, I, I I agree. No, I was I was, was the same thing. Exposed at a very young age to it, not, you know, um, and um, yeah. What, what purity does is it causes you to go in. It causes you to say, "I'm bad. I'm bad." No, you. I didn't choose to be exposed to something so young, and. Also, you know, your body isn't evil. You got to know your body. Touch your body. You know, be in your room. But what happens is because it's shunned upon when you do do it and you can't control it because you're a human, Mm -hmm. everyone jerks off. So, like, when you start feeling guilty about it, now you form this cycle of shame. Yeah. And now you can't, shit, you can't even take a, a rejection or you can't, like, just just anything any little thing that doesn't go your way i need to go jerk off and watch porn ah because it's like your brain has now has now substituted like when you feel shame when you feel 
you know, like not good, jerk off. Yeah. And it's 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 not a good thing. And pure and that's yeah, what purity does. Yeah, that. and whew, um <clears throat> so I, I told you I've been going to therapy. Um Good for you. I haven't I haven't started. Yeah, I think I think You think I need it? <laughs> I think anybody that's went through and seen what we've seen, yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, um, my therapist just said this to me. He said, there's um, primal, real emotions, right? You're walking through a dark alley at night. You don't know your environment. You, you have a natural elevated level of fear, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a real that's a real emotion. He said, then there's secondary or fabricated emotions. Uh, emotions that are attached to thoughts that then make you feel something. And he said, guilt is a thought that then makes you feel something. You feel terrible because you thought something first. It's a secondary emotion. Anxiety is a secondary emotion, <coughs> right? Um, and so he was, he, he was specifically talking about guilt. And I thought about that, like, as a kid, bro, I felt so guilty mm -hmm. for looking at porn. I was like four or five the first four time I saw. Four five, I was yeah. eight. Jesus, yeah. you're really fucked up. Yeah, bro, I was. Um, we. Somebody, so I don't know how you guys came over here, but we came. We went and lived in Moscow for like a year. We we, my un, my aunt, my uncle, they recently came to visit me and uh, bless them. I I was so drunk when we, I hung out with my uncle. Um, it was bad. It was really bad. You just can't say no to drinking with your uncle, so you got to go. But they did say we spent a little... Do I remember spending time in Moscow? Yeah. And I don't. Yeah. But yeah. I remember we stayed in Moscow for a little bit, and I um, I was five at the time, because we stayed for Moscow about a year. Um, and we would watch... I, you know, this is when we had video cassettes. Mm -hmm. And I remember vividly, uh, I was watching a recording of American... Ninja. That was like my movie back in the day when Michael Dujikov uh, was the actor, American Ninja. And, and I watched it just like I would always watch it. My mom would just leave me alone. I don't know what the hell she, what was going on, but I would just be alone watching videos on the VCR. I know how to work the VCR. And at the end of this video, a porno came on. And I remember, like, I remember the whole thing was like, do this to my, you know, my, I'll do yeah. this to yours, this whole thing. And I was young, bro. And that set off this course of being very confused about my sexuality, being very, like, ashamed, feeling mm -hmm. very guilty at a very young age. Um, and I think Christian purity culture didn't help that very much. Nah, man, I, I started... I started knowing how to please myself at a, at a oh man, why am I saying this? I should go to a therapist. <laughs> oh man, this is tough to say, but yeah, like at a young age yep. and then my grandfather caught me once. Grandma caught me once too. And then he was like, you keep doing that, your dick's not going to work. And uh, <laughs> update grandpa, it's working, baby. <laughs> um, it's working just fine, but... There will it will it will meet its demise one day. Yeah. And you Viagra? Uh, <laughs> I nah. It's just I'm not gonna bury bonds it, man. I'm just gonna deal with it. You know what I mean? Head on. But I don't know, man. I I, I just yeah. It and then I started going to church, mm -hmm. and then it just became that cycle, and then it caused me to like go in not talk to anybody cut myself mm. off go through like yeah you actually you know you shouldn't be 13 14 that depressed mm -hmm. and have no one to talk to yeah and then you do go to your pastors and they're like ah it's you know everybody either everybody does it like it wasn't really you know it, we didn't even i didn't even go but yeah it just was like I just wish I had somebody that I could could have really talked to about yeah. it. Yeah, I started having conversations with Levi about sex, birth, sperm, eggs, not the act of sex. Yeah. But he's four, and we've had several conversations. What, is, what does testicles do? You know, because he'll be, like, in the shower and be like, Dad, what are these? You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, those are your balls. Like, they produce sperm. One day you're going to have kids. Your sperm is going to go into a woman, and she's going to have an egg. And oh, wow. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like it's a series of conversations that I'm going to demystify, and I'm going to have those as early as he's ready to have them. Mm -hmm. um, here's a – yeah, I'm not going to go into that. We'll talk about that off camera. But uh, uh, 
we have a lot of conversations about stuff like that. Um, not again, not the graphic detail Damn, of what did, sex is. He sat down his son for a sex talk at four. That's crazy. Not a sex talk. Hey, what is his, what did his <laughs> testicles? What did his testicles do? You know what I'm saying? He was curious about what his balls were. I, I still don't know what mine do. So, <laughs> so look, um, do 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 we agree for the most part that porn is is not helpful or healthy no, even I think, though I think porn is I think porn is healthy you think it is healthy I think porn is healthy okay why is that um I think porn now it can be unhealthy it does have a very like mm-hmm. effect as you could see seeing it at a young age but I think it wasn't just you seeing it at a young age that mm-hmm. really fucked you up or fucked me up mm-hmm. it was us not having anywhere to go to talk about it you know what I mean? I don't think I should have seen it that young. No, I'm not saying you should have seen yeah. it that young either. But what I'm saying is that, like, if there was outlets, if things weren't so mystical, and if purity culture wasn't so big, mm-hmm. you'd feel better. You'd be like, all right, it's not that big yeah. of a deal. My mm-hmm. life isn't over. This has happened to other people. They right. made right. it. They live a normal life. Um, I think porn is healthy in you get a safe space to learn what you like and figure out what you're into without actually doing it and then hopefully talk to other people or have partners that you're like check this out this is what i like and i have i'm i'm Uh. now i've had you know like I've had people where they're like, so what do you like? And I was like, well, you, you can refer to some of these videos. Wow. <laughs> What's so wow about it? You right. told your son here's, what his balls do. Yeah. Okay, here's my thing with porn. I think porn is, it's a lot like, it's like Instagram on steroids. Like porn, Instagram is like you're taking people's highlight reels and you're comparing them to your normal day to day life. Yeah, but which is which messes you up. But bro, like then don't watch the NBA because you're not gonna play like any of those dudes. Well, yeah, if I watched the NBA and thought I could dunk like Kobe, basketball bro. would be terrible to play. No, ever. But, yeah, but but the thing right? is, right? Like, like uh, if I thought that I could I could deliver at that aspect, and then the projection of me as a man or on women that they have to look a certain way and they have to perform a certain way. I get that that's but that's that's really no, no. dehumanizing but bro. there's also more more porn that's coming out that's a little bit realer first fair off, enough yeah fair right enough. there's also porn i think there's a big movement now because it's a lot of it is being pirated a lot of it is homemade mm-hmm. people are now like you got your independent your indie label porn stars <laughs> your indie joneses you're of dumb. porn you're dumb <laughs> It's true though. That's a fact. That's a fact. It's you know, and and to think about it, when porn first started, porn was like really beautiful and cinematic. It, there you was a, like, there was a different art yeah. value initially. It, 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 that's that that's fair enough. What I'm yeah, I think what I'm saying is that you being exposed to it, you then expecting that to be the standard. I think it cre- it can create some really unhealthy expectations. Yeah, if we're if we're gonna follow that basketball analogy, if 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 but me. You can't, if it, me and my wife or, or whatever uh-huh. expected to perform the way that some of these Wait. people do, in, in the same way that if I, every time I went to go play a pickup game with you, I thought I was freaking Michael Jordan, yeah, it but, would destroy and remove the joy no, of playing basketball. But, but no, because there, porn is entertainment. Porn is entertainment. It is not. I don't think we can distinguish the difference yes. in the same way we can't distinguish the difference on Instagram when people are posting their highlight reels and not their real lives. N- nah. I, well then, but we need to know. We can't be that dumb. You can't just because other people are dumb and think, oh, it's, it's seen it on the porn. That's how you do it. Doesn't mean you should sit back. I don't think that. You know, like, so, yeah, I can't fault. F- don't take my alcohol away from me because someone else doesn't know how to hold theirs yeah i'm not saying we need to outlaw porn i'm saying is saying it outlawed. i'm saying is it healthy or not healthy i, I think, think i think it I does think more it more harm than good no i think it's the reaction to it and it's the, the the secrecy that does more harm to it that's what does the harm to it if it was more opened if we fought more if if if, if our if our lives if our rights and our and the world is a, the the world as a whole is already fucked up. We only want to see beautiful people all the time. Mm-hmm. We already don't see a variety of. I have a joke about this, but like you go to the 
explore page mm-hmm. you don't see any ugly people where are all the ugly people on the explore mm-hmm. page not nah, because like we just live in a world where it's the best the best right. you see a, 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 a autobiography like a movie mm-hmm. it's like Winston Churchill don't look that hot. Why <laughs> Winston Churchill look that hot? Yeah, yeah. And it's the same I get, thing. I, I get that you, what you're saying. Just yeah, it's, okay. it's just so, entertainment. So let's switch gears. Um, recently, there's been a huge movement called the No Fat Movement. Mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not sure how familiar you are with it. I, I've, I've, uh, come, I, I've come across it. At, at no point have I wanted to do it. Okay. Big idea, I think, which confirms the Christian position on porn. The big idea is this. Uh-huh. Um, as a man, you are designed to have a certain level of natural testosterone. Mm-hmm. You're, you're designed to operate at a certain level. And when you look at porn or when you whack off or when you hook up, easy hookup encounters, what it's doing to your dopamine levels is it's, it's allowing you to experience high degrees of pleasure without the work associated to get there. So this, this looks like this. This isn't just porn or one night stands. This looks like you want to eat something. Yeah. Instead of preparing a meal, boom, you hit the McDonald's drive through Y'all ain't got drive throughs in New York, but you hit the McDonald's drive through you get cheap, quick, fast food. Your brain didn't have to work for that food. Your, your body didn't have to work for that food. So you're getting these dopamine spikes. And what they're finding is there's literally our dopamine receptors are jacked up because we're getting these high shots of dopamine through the food we eat, through masturbating, that our testosterone is lower when you masturbate. Your, your daggone dopamines are shooting up and down because you, you just go for that boom, quick fix. I, want, uh, I had a bad day. Someone said something mean. A girl rejected me. Let me make myself yeah. feel better. Yeah. And it's literally changing the physiology of men so now there's this completely secular movement saying we're gonna be men we're gonna learn to suffer we're gonna not we're gonna have this no fap thing and and dudes do it going like a thousand days without whacking off and looking at porn that's not good According to the scientific That's benefits, according to the scientific benefits, the the the, uh, the 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 positive sides, the clarity, the focus, the motivation no. to t- the motivation to want to meet a woman, to date a woman, to have the income to take a woman out and romance her, all these things that these guys are are documenting is through the roof. T- no, I I I get it, I get it, but we're using. A small sample size of men. No, it's not a small it's sample like, size of men. Bro, it's, 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 it's a, it's a revolution happening right oh, now. Revolution! It's what, the, sa- so the serious. saddest revolution I've ever heard of. But think it's, about, but, but, please kill yourself. But listen, but listen, think about it though. Think about it. If you didn't have to put in the work that you had to put into your craft as a comedian, okay, and your first time you went up, yes. you winged some stuff, and you were as funny as you were tonight yeah. on your first night. No, you, n- there's no process to it. There's no grind to it. There's no. There's no. Bro. There's no drive. There's no motivation to it. That through the struggle is where character, where tenacity, where I resilience is built. I agree with that, but that doesn't mean you need to quit jerking off completely. You ain't got to do it all the time. Have some fucking self control, but, but that's like, but that's how an addiction works. The addiction no. works with dopa with the dopamine receptors. No. Now your brain is firing. Everyone is supposed to masturbate. We've always been masturbating. Stop with I, that. I don't think at the degrees that we're masturbating today. Bro. I don't think at the degrees Bro. we're masturbating at today. I'm trying to tell you, as it was before, it is now, and as it is now, it was back then. No, nah, because... were jerking their you dicks. Got, you gotta, can't you, tell me otherwise. You gotta look at the correlations now. And maybe these are... These are um, Correlation. Correlations. No, it's just so- hear me out. Hear me out. Maybe these are correlations, whether they are... Uh, maybe, maybe we cannot tie causation, but the rise of anxiety, the rise of depression, the rise of all these things is, is whether directly or indirectly, correlated to technology, easier access mm-hmm. to porn, men masturbating more than ever, yeah. men not sleeping, men not being go-getters. And they're saying it's literally connected yeah, that's, to that's our— why you have people like Jordan to, Peterson. It's connected to, to our— um, 
lack of testosterone that every time you're because 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 when you're whacking off it's it's a different chemical that it's a it's a different chemical release than when you're having intimate sex with somebody it's yeah. different when you're whacking off you're literally you're just going from a to z there's no there's no process and there's no serotonin levels when you're having intimacy with somebody there's serotonin released when there's physical touch you know what I'm saying you can't have serotonin released with your within your touching yourself it's a different it's a different experience no i i i get that but you still got to jerk off i, I don't think you got to jerk says. off you you don't have to do it all the time it doesn't have to consume your life but do you think most people who are jerking off are jerking off responsibly or do you think more often than not it's something it's your it, body no no no, no, no i'm saying it's something that you're doing at a rate that you wish you weren't doing i get sometimes it does happen like that and you need to just learn you need to learn your body and we need to we need to not treat sex as so taboo so, i'm not saying it's taboo i'm saying we need to have more Honest and I mean, this is coming from the guy that's talking to his four year old about sex. Like, <laughs> I think we need to have more conversations. I just think the standard of saying, as a man, if something doesn't require work and you get it instantaneously, it's probably dangerous. It's probably not helpful for you. I it's a shortcut. Say that. It's a shortcut. It's a shortcut. We still, we still got to do it. We, still, you, we don't so got to do anything. We yeah, don't got to yeah, do anything. You try. You you go out there and try. Hey, in the comment below, tell me when the last time you jerked off. I went here in the comment <laughs> section below. Sound off what, in the comments what's, below. What's the longest you've went? And then when I reply, uh, I, I, I'll be like, did you do it today? And you probably did. You know what I mean? Here's where I think purity culture failed us. And here's where I think um, we would, we would, I would hope we would agree. Um... I think we agree to some degree that, that that porn is probably not helpful. That um, you you think w you think way more than I do about that. I actually don't spend a lot of time thinking about that. But what I'm saying is, I mean, this is, we, we, agree, you, we agree we agree that porn more we agree that porn detrimental than and I habitually do. masturbating can be detrimental to to a man's physiology. It can. You got to take a break sometimes. Okay, my brother. fair enough. So here's where I think purity culture has failed us. Mm -hmm. Is that instead of training us on how to build healthier habits we just made the things we were dealing with shameful and taboo mm -hmm. and so now what we're seeing is if you want to stop doing something if i um uh i'm trying to cut for the summertime i'm trying to get leaner right if i want to stop eating um treats right i don't stop eating treats and cookies and sugar by just saying, I'm not going to eat sugar. I'm not going to eat sugar. I'm not going to eat sugar. I stop it by creating another habit to replace that habit, right? If I, if I, if I want to um, stop going on Instagram and spending countless hours on Instagram, I have to do something else to fill that habit. That's yeah. how it's foundationally, it's designed. And I feel like, unfortunately, that wasn't really taught to us. There was no real, like, in, it, don't focus so much on the porn and the masturbating focus on something that's a healthy habit for you so that you build a healthy habit like exercise like fitness like whatever it is eating healthier that your body actually levels out chemically and you need less of those dopamine hits and then you know after you get done running and eating healthy come <laughs> what do you think about wet dreams it's your body telling you you need to come or it's your body saying, hey, man, great job. You ain't whacked off in a while. Oh, no. You're, you're, you're backed up. Oh, my I'm going to go ahead and let it go. Why can't it be that? Bro, we're talking about the most archaic thing in the world. People been rubbing their dicks on stuff since yeah, God knows when. Yeah, but people haven't been comparing themselves to other people like that, man, bro. What is this the, whole? The, the, here's, what is this whole thing of, like, we got to practice. I mean, I'm all for struggle. My entire, you've seen my comedy, it's all about struggle. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is that, like, there's that struggle, but, but, but there's also, like, this, this obsession now that, like, kind of like this alt-right, uh, like, these, there's these dudes named the Proud Boys that do this thing. They're a very hateful group. But, yeah, they're, they're like... They're, they're kind of like a hate group or whatever, but yeah, they don't like jerk off or whatever. This is what I heard about them. I don't know too much about it, but we have this obsession with like, I need to dominate and I need to be a force that's reckoned with and I need every second of every minute to count. Sometimes you gotta just jerk off. 
I hate to say it. I, I don't know what other way to put it. Life is hard. <laughs> there's death. There's cancer. Yeah. There, there are no miracles. We did a whole the episode about miracle, miracles. Y'all go watch that. We, I believe in miracles. I ain't co-signing the that. The only miracle there is is... It's Jesus rising from the dead in no, creation. <laughs> it's, it's really, it's your cum. You're wild. Look, here's what Bro, I... Bro, think I, about I, it. Let's, a let's, little thing like that can enter in a body and grow and fully bloom into a human being. It's crazy, but it's science. But however... That's a miracle, though. But nah. here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Here's, here's how I'll break it down. When you started doing stand-up comedy, yes, you were very like, no, I'm not going to go do skits on YouTube. No, I'm not. S- you did. You did. Because I, I said, yo, check out social media. Check out this. Da, da, da. And you were like, no, I'm going to go and hit three open mics a night, mm-hmm. five nights a week. I'm going to struggle. I'm going to develop this craft. I'm going to be excellent. I'm going to push through. You you didn't just have the homie put you on. You know what I'm saying? And give you a massive platform before you were able to, 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 sh- to show and prove yourself. You didn't have any handouts. <clears throat> and because of that, because of your tenacity, you've developed into an amazing comedian. And you still have a ways to grow, but you've 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 came in your own, right? After I how have many come? <laughs> how many? How many years? How many in years? How many years has it been? About three, four years. It'll be five years in December on December fourteenth. What I'm saying is, if you took that same approach to sex and you said, "I'm going to meet a girl, I'm going to date her, I'm going to uh, pursue her." I'm going to commit to her. I'm going to marry her. I'm going to have. I wish people could see your faces right now. And I'm going to. I'm going to. No, no, no. I'm going to then press into having the same commitment you had to your stand-up comedy and your craft. You're going to pursue a woman in the same way. I think you would see a more. Uh, 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 Fulfilled sex life. I think you would see that. That people who. Like Will Chamberlain, who said, i rather make love to a woman, one woman, a thousand times than have sex with a thousand like women one time. I like how you're quoting Will Chamberlain. Like, I mean, I think it's a fly like, quote. Like scripture. Yeah, I think it's a fly quote. Um, I, think, I think that, that, that if people approach their sex lives in the same way. What about these concubines? Let me, let me make my point. If, if people approach their sex lives in the same way, if people approach their nutrition in the same way, if people approach their sleep in the same way, if people approach their uh, physical fitness in the same way, we would have a lot less depression, a lot less anxiety, a lot less issues with our physiology, a lot, a lot less sleep apnea because we're in a I want it now generation. I want it now. I want something to eat. Give it to me now. I I I I I, I need to nut. Give me some porn or, or grind uh, tender grinder. Swipe to the right. Swipe to the left. Right. I don't even know which one's which. One of those is for anyway. You see what I'm saying? Like I think that that it, the convenience of it and the the lack of work is crippling us. I get that, but I feel like you're using these points and you're using some of these facts to completely stretch into something that it doesn't always need to be. I'm a little bit more on a fluid side where like, yeah, I do take into account those things and I do see how they can be hurtful and how they can trick us as humans into a false sense of reality. But I'm, that's not to go ahead and say that you should not be sexually explorative with yourself on your own no know your body know how your body works put your finger in your butt sometimes you know what i mean you put your finger in your butt before if i did (laughs) does does that matter (laughs) put it in there come on (laughs) not co-signing anything that's said here but it's not co-signing it's a a fun conversation it's a well here's the thing And, and and i don't even i haven't really even experienced this you want to talk about the mysteries and the wonders of God. You're talking about the, the male G-spot. The I male know you were going to go there. <laughs> the male G-spot is in where? In the asshole. Mm-hmm. And you know why they call it the G-spot? Why they call it G-spot? It's God's spot. <laughs> <You're> stupid. <laughs> God's uh, spot. What, 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 are we, what, do, what, what, what can we agree on? I think we do agree. That's scientific right there. I know about the male G-spot. What do we agree on? Then why on? aren't more, more Christians 
Why are more Christians exploding? I don't know. Are you are you f- p- p- putting your finger up your booty every every time? I no, I haven't. And have I don't, you had? A I don't sex take partner? advantage of it. But okay, it, so you but don't it doesn't take, take a lot. It. You know what I mean? It doesn't take a lot. It doesn't you ain't got to wedge something big in there? But these are all things that we don't think about and we don't know. And if you want to talk about it, a lot of people, when we are giving sex mm-hmm. advice to our sons or our daughters, it's very heteronormative. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, you could. Uh, all right, don't jerk off, but like, well, what if I put my finger in my butt? You not telling me <laughs> to do that? I, but no, but we being real. No, that's a good and point. That's a good point. I don't have a counterpoint to that. I'm trying to figure out what we agree on. I think we uh, our our differences come in terms of of levels in in in. You know, like, I think you're a little bit more, you're a little bit stricter, even though we do agree purity culture does, like, doesn't do any good to you because you're not open and you're not exposed. Mm -hmm. I do believe your values and beliefs are a lot more stricter than mine when it comes to porn and masturbating and sexual exploration as a man, woman, or them, they, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we would agree that, that there is some value in denying yourself, in denying your there whatever is, you feel there like is, it. There's there a value in denying that and pushing through and suffering and struggling. There is value in forming healthy sexual habits, but some days you're just going to sit home and jerk off all day. And you shouldn't feel like a piece of shit because you did. And then the I don't next think it's day, ever healthy for anybody to sit home all day, my G. You you, you wasted a full day, my G, whacking yeah. off, dog. That's not you. Come dog. on, you can't be serious and say that's healthy. First of all, see, that's where the guilt creeps in. That's no, no, no. That's just common okay, sense. B- okay, but let's say it's not healthy. You, and you wasted an entire day okay. whacking off, bro. Let's let's say it's not healthy, and that's something that you do. That doesn't mean the next day you wake up, you don't do nothing. Absolutely. Nah. That's, that's, you know that's, that's, I mean? that's why I said. I said so, yeah, that, I said, I said, I said like, we shouldn't. We shouldn't shame and we shouldn't yeah, feel guilt, I'm right? And, and, and I believe that as a Christian, like I believe that even though I think that's sinful, yeah. I believe that Jesus covered that sin and there's no more guilt and shame for me because of what Jesus did. Therefore, I, I, I don't think that people should feel you know ashamed what? if they're but in you're Christ Jesus. You're more likely to do that when you're you when you hold yourself up to these very strict standards. And it's it's. I it's, don't think it's outlandish yeah, it's, to be like a, a man shouldn't spend a full day whacking no, off. Not, that's not a that's no, no, a crazy no, no, no. stand. That's no, not no, a crazy no. standard. I'm talking about when you hold yourself to strict standards. That's when you are spending a whole day in your house jerking off because you haven't had it in Cause, so cause long. Because you're saying because of the repression. Exactly. Because of the repression. It's binging. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you've kept yourself from it. Now you are a masturbation bulimic. I don't think it's binging. You do it all in one time. I think, I think, I think, and then you don't, you go without. I don't think it's binging. I think it's understanding that sexuality has a time and a place. And there's a there's an art form and to it. And it's not the train. And it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> what? Don't jerk off on a train. There's an art form to it, and there's a there's a pursuit to it, and pursuing a partner. I want to be the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's a beautiful thing that uh, we get to experience in that. And and I would say that that is reserved for marriage in a marriage bed. I disagree. Um, you, clearly, you disagree. <laughs> um, but I think we do agree. Marriage bed. Uh, people that are married aren't fucking on other types of uh Desktops Come on! Now you just now you just tables. You're just splitting, the marriage you're, bed. You're just splitting hair. So did I, boring. Did I, even, did I even say the marriage bed? <laughs> yeah. I said marriage bed. Okay. Boring. Marriage. Marriage. I don't think it's boring. As someone that's been married for 11 years, I tell you right now, it ain't boring. Okay, we don't need right, to get into right, the details. We get it. Uh, but I don't think it's boring. I I uh I wish I hadn't had sexual partners before my wife. I wish I had more. That sucks, man. <laughs> that sucks because I think I think when when you do get married, um, you know you don't what? want that comparison. What comparison? Oh my God! See, you're you're. This is what you keep on doing. You keep on taking these sick ideas that you're not supposed to have in your head in the first place. That you're supposed to be like when, when you even think like that, right? Like when you even think like that. Uh, 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 about your wife is like trying to compare. You're supposed to be like, oh, like. W- don't do that. Like, y- yeah, you but know, you were like, naturally wired to compare. That's that was the point about Instagram. You you compare yourself, whether you want yeah. to or not. That is just how we are as people. But just yeah, but you gotta uh, elevate, go into the higher self. Like, 
I, I, I get it, but which is which is which is what the no fat movement is promoting. Elevate, go into the higher self, uh, practice discipline, restrain yourself, self control. M- like fr- those are fruits of the spirit that Jesus promoted, and I think I think those are good things. And okay, here's what we agree on. Here's what here, here's what we agree on. In order to break habits, the way to do that is to form new healthy habits. Fair enough. Agreed. But healthy habits is jerking off every whatever. What is what is a healthy gauge you think for jerking off? To where it doesn't get in to where it doesn't get into the middle of like family, work, pursuits, working out. And That's you think it. most men who are masturbating? No, cuz most men are stupid. Can we all agree on that? Most men are just fucking dumb as a rock. <laughs> we agree on that. <laughs> and because we agree on that, this is why I would say sometimes abstaining from something is better than trying to be responsible with something. Agree. Sometimes saying I'm going to, when I get back, I'm going to go hardcore. I'm not having any treats. I'm not having any sugar. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's better than saying, I'm going to allocate every once in a while this many da 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 da. And and some people, they they could do that. Other people, they can't. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that, like, even even if we're talking science, even if we're talking scientifically, science is saying, well, you know, you need you need to look at porn and whack off, every, you know, every once in a while, every every seven to twelve days or whatever that number is. If we're honest, because most men are stupid, they should and they probably are doing it compulsively, and they probably can't control that that habit loop. Maybe the solution is, hey, man, take the challenge on yourself. Go 30 days without whacking off. Go 100 days. Fill, fill, fill some better habits and see, and see how you feel. See how you feel. 30 days, 100 days. No. No. It's, it's, it's that you do. A lot of people, you talk about healthy habits. A lot of people aren't, just aren't motivated to do anything good. But maybe they're not motivated because their freaking testosterone is low because no. they keep touching themselves and they keep whacking off. No. That's what the science is pointing to. No, so, no, there's just, at the end of the day, we have personal freedom, the freedom to do whatever that we want. You want to sit down and you want to do heroin? Cool. If your heroin needle is your dick, cool i can't control you yeah I, i'm not talking about controlling i'm i'm saying yeah you want to do heroin you want to smoke crack you want to look at porn every day and spend eight hours a day once whatever that thing is i'm saying you can do whatever you want i'm saying i don't want anybody to do any of those things even though they have the freedom to i don't want them to do those things i, I think there's a healthy way to there's look, not a healthy way to do heroin and do crack there no there's a healthy way to do to, to, there's a healthy way to look at porn. There's a healthy way to explore. But your most body. people aren't doing it the healthy way. I don't know what most people are doing, man. By and large, I think it's fair to say most aren't. Well, because we don't in the have same way, there's most people aren't because because recreationally I, you know using and cocaine. Be, and I'm gonna be for real in a healthy you, way. I'm gonna be for real with you. The no fat movement that's not gonna help people do it. I mean, it seems to be helping a lot of people. Well, let's see who's really doing it because a lot of these people probably lying about their numbers. Maybe. I'm going to just be for real with you. I want to see – I do agree. You got to s- stop doing it as as much. But you got to know what your healthy habit is. It's not for me to form a number for anybody. Sure. You got to know what your healthy habit is. You know, I know every morning I try to get up. I try to write. I got scripts I need to finish. I want to get up and do comedy. I don't have time to do it. And that's great, but that's because I have something else blocking up that time. You know? Exactly. And yeah. maybe you wouldn't but get as what? much done if but you spent what? more when time looking home, at porn. I jerk off, you know? <laughs> Appreciate your transparency, <laughs> Uh In the comments section. Um, wow, hopefully that wasn't too... Uh, too x-rated for you guys i, I want to hear from you guys in the comments section those those of you guys that are part of the no fat movement what's the longest honestly what's the longest you guys have ever want, went i think maybe rufat needs some uh some examples of, of men going a long time uh and that is, it, it is possible what do you guys think about your body uh having wet dreams all that stuff leave that in the comments fingers section in below. the in the butt what i have some of y'all explored fingers in the butt, fingers in the male in your butt. I, I don't know nothing <laughs> about that but i'd like to hear from you guys all right Peace.